YouTube. We're just getting to put our battery cables together. Just showing you how to do. Thank you, just in case, for giving me uh, contacts on the wire, battery wire. Just give me some ideas. It's pretty, pretty thick. These are those things we were doing. Just about get all the wires in there. A couple kind of don't fit. But um, thought I'd have a go at showing everyone how to uh, crimp. No. Basically we've got this big tool, put this in there, and pump it, take up the black. Right, make sure your terminal's the right way around. I want to get the terminals on upside down. You can see that. And basically, you just take it all away home. And uh, Justin, here you go. A double crimp, crimp as you suggest. So, taking it. Yeah. And uh, there, there you have it. Nice and crimped. And it's even got the 70 millimeter crimp mark on there as well. I drilled the holes out a little bit bigger there, so the bolts fit through the batteries because they're a little bit small. All right, YouTube. Just uh, showing you how we knock up some cables. Another thing, YouTube, is when you draw them out, they've got a little bit of a burr that um, will stop them connecting to the battery properly. So, uh, all I've been doing is just getting the file and just giving it a bit of a little bit of a file it flat so you know it touches the whole ter battery terminal and then just take the burr out see it's nice and flat now might be a bit jagged but you know, just make sure there's got plenty of surface for the batteries to connect to so YouTube so basically what I've done here is I've gone in and crimped it and I've got the heat shrink ready so basically you need to get your heat shrink. So all of those who's never used heat shrink in the I'm using a whole stripper gun. Alright. Just get on there and just give it a bit of heat. Without overheating the camera. And you just apply a little bit of heat. This is, uh, I hope you can hear me. A little bit of heat to Bring it down. Make it a nice neat job. Nearly as good as what they charge down there at the car shop or tractor place to uh, get a new lead to your batteries and stuff. So you just get on there and give it a little bit of a so that gives you a a little bit of what the finished product looks like. Just remember when you put your terminals on that you put them face down on each side so when you screw it to your battery 
I see it flat. Hello, yeah, YouTube. Here's uh, the finished product of the cabling. As I was showing. There we are, all nice and professional. Get your red ones. You got your black ones. And this is where the cables all look like when they're made up and put on the battery. So I haven't done the nuts up yet, I've left them loose. So basically you've got your positive to negative and then your main positive and your main negative off. Right and then your next bank you've got, so this makes 24 volts. So two, two 12 volt batteries in series and then them all into parallel. If you need a, a wiring diagram, um, look on just in case of sight. Um, he's got a wiring diagram of this. Alright, I'm still wiring it up and I've got the, the cables here to run off to the inverters and the charge controllers and the other end of the shed. So not, 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 nice bit of cable. Nice eBay find. So, yeah, the guy told me it's 240 millimetre, but whew, it's as big as a 20 cent piece. Should be able to get lots of solar power through that. Nice size compared to the the black one, 70 mil. Yeah, that's how um, i got so far. Yeah, just having a look at the cable that I got here. Pretty big, eh? Just got to be worth put the thermal on there and see how we go. There YouTube always hang out. Took a few days to make them all up. Just got to fly it up. Just got to make a box on the wall for all the fuses and stuff on but just to get things happening and just put them all wire together. Right up to the really big cable. Don't get a bit better fuse, but a fuse is better than none. Cool.